Uh, join us now to talk about the Thank violent you. march. Thanks, Jim, uh, that we've seen this week. Barry Sternlich, chairman and CEO of Starwood uh, Capital Group, which has $60 billion under management. He's also chairman and CEO of SH Hotels and Resorts. Barry, I, I know that when we our people talk to you, I think you intimated that you'd well, like to just calm things down a little uh, and maybe yeah. I, and after yeah. this morning looks a little better. How, how are you feeling? Yeah. And you know well, what's going on. You got a lot of businesses. When I agreed to go on last night and they saw the futures down 700, I was a little worried about coming on. But honestly, I mean, when this thing started, it was it started in China. It's too bad it didn't start in Western Europe. We didn't trust anything. But the one thing you know today is it's through China. Xi went to Wuhan. Uh, 44 Apple stores opened last night. Disney World is open in, in China. So it's finished in China. It will be finished here, whether it's 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, since we don't know the testing scores. We don't know how many people actually have it. Actually, the more people have it, the better off we are, because it probably means we're going to get through it faster. This is going to be a V-shape almost for sure. I mean, you're going to see 2.5%, 3% GDP growth in the fourth quarter. This is going to be really bad, really fast. I ran started hotels through 9-11, through SARS through the uh, 08, 07 crisis, the financial crisis, hotels came back, uh, everything came back. This will be even faster because this is really a health care scare. And all the bad news is roughly out there. Why is it going to be V-shaped? There are three huge stimuluses. First, global rates are through the ground everywhere. Like, it doesn't cost anything to borrow money. And the credit markets are a little tight right now, but they will loosen up. There's tons of liquidity. The banks are still lending. We're still getting loans on our properties. So rates are first. Second, oil. Oil is a big tax cut for consumers. I should have mentioned rates for the consumers, too, because as mortgage interest is dropping, there's record refinancing. He's got tons of cash in his pocket. And third, the government is going to do something. There's going to be stimulus packages left and right. You're going to have a huge short-term problem, and it's going to be huge. 20% of the economy works in service, in tourism. You know, our hotel occupancies are going to crash uh, in, in resort markets, but then they're going to bounce right back. And it's actually not as bad as you think. I actually asked our mall, uh, head of our mall group last night, how bad is it in our malls? I, I expected the traffic to be down 90%. We had a million four people. Uh, the week before or, or uh, two weeks ago, we were a million two. So we're down like 7%. One of our malls in California traffic is up. So we're doing this to ourselves. We're doing the right response. We're, we're, we're shutting down our events. Big con I was at a Broadway show uh, two weeks ago. I mean, you're, we're shutting this stuff down. Uh, it's good, actually. It's terrible short term. The markets have to look through this. And assets are cheap. Like 97% of the companies that pay dividends in the S&P 500 are paying a higher dividend in the two-year, it's the first time in history. So for us, we're using this as a buying opportunity in the public markets. We're looking at assets that are still a super cheap, that are way below replacement cost. Hey, Barry, and it, it's sort of a canceling hotels left and right. What are the reservations look like for hotels? Well, this weekend in Miami, we'll run 85% occupancy. New York City last night, 66 L.A. last night, 70 percent. So there, we, we, look, we're getting future cancellations. It's going to be rough. We're working on our layoff plans. Well, so we're yeah. shutting restaurants hey, and room Barry, service, but we'll get through it. Barry, I, I still I gather why some of those um, occupancy rates are, are as high as they are for this weekend. What do you well, we have one case of uh, one, one case of coronavirus in Dade. So oh, one but, case. But, <laughs> so. but tell me what. No, but tell me what the reservations look like a week, two and three weeks out. And also. Okay. I mean, I think people want to understand that piece of it. Yeah, look, I'm expecting that zero to negative GDP growth this quarter. I think we're going to go through the floor. This is, this is a global 9-11 in, 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 in travel, in hospitality. So right. it's going to be really bad. And, my, and our, our New York Sheridan in, in, 1980, in 2008, the cash flow went from $93 million to $18 million. I mean, it's going to be terrible. And, but Barry, today it makes $100 million bucks. Barry, we look at so, China as, as an example South Korea, perhaps, is an example, but in both cases, they, they, they pursued relatively uh, draconian measures, seemingly more so than where we are, at least in the United States today. And as you'll note, given the occupancy of the hotels you're talking about, uh, whatever measures we're taking are not necessarily uh, nailing the social distancing issue, at least yeah. just yet. So my question is, why are you not looking at Italy as, as the example, or, or does the well, Italy uh, example it, portend good things to you? Uh, you know, Italy has a screwed up health care system. We have a much better health care system. I think, look, I could be wrong. 99 point something percent of people aren't going to pass away from this. I mean, we know the target market is the elderly. I mean, it, it's going to be awful. I'm probably going to get the flu. I actually uh, thought I had a runny nose this morning, so I was glad it was that kind of flu. 
Um, it, it, it's going to yeah, happen. I, I mean, people are going to get this. You have the I don't floor. really have a... No, no, I don't. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I don't, don't, I don't have the floor. So, no, but look, I, it's, we're going to have all our gl- groups are canceled. All the big groups are canceled. And some people are still coming to warm weather because there's some stories that maybe the virus dies at 80 degrees. So maybe Florida is not a great example. But, but uh, honestly, I think, you know, it's, it's going to pass. I mean, it's going to be terrible. We're, gonna, we're preparing for uh, uh, cash flows will be down 50 percent in the hotel business for some period of time, maybe 80. But for the year, I expect a recovery. I mean, I think Americans' blessing is it's optimistic and, and we react. We're like, we're panicking. I've seen pictures. I'm from Connecticut. I've seen pictures of empty store shelves. Well, I'm on the board of Estee Lauder. Their physical stores went uh, to zero in China, but their online orders skyrocketed. And then they couldn't deliver the goods because nobody's delivering. They will deliver. Their sales will recover. The same thing will happen in the U.S. It'll, it'll recover. So, you know, I don't think because rates are so low, you know, you can afford to pay a lot of interest when you're paying LIBOR plus, plus what, 100 when, and when LIBOR is zero? So that's what happened in the financial crisis. I mean, we needed that liquidity, but here we almost have that liquidity because we have zero interest rates. So we can get through a lot with, you know, a $100 million loan at 1% is a million dollars. Hotels can make a million dollars, you know, even 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 as corrupt, you know, screwed up as their occupancies will be. You know, Barry, you're going to see you, you're you, going to see a lot of dislocations and a lot of people going to lose their jobs. And that's where the government were, has to focus. You th- thought things were a little bit frothy, too. Uh, the last oh, I thought they were crazy. On. And I, today I thought you're they were saying crazy. these are much better values. And I, I, I mean, I do think no, you, I, I just do think, think you're going to talk your right? book a little. You got all these businesses, but I think you genuinely no, think I don't things are. <laughs> think so, things are a lot cheaper than they were. A lot no, I just think they're. Oh, look, we we are we <laughs> we couldn't buy anything. Pricing was stupid. Right. Uh, we weren't buying anything, and uh, we were buying some apartments, which I think are fairly insulated. The housing cycle is pretty strong. Yeah, yeah thirty seconds. I, I, I think uh, I think there's interesting opportunities. We are buying stocks, a few uh, uh, okay. REITs that we're buying now at prices we didn't think, because yield is going to coming out of this. The one thing you know is yield's super valuable. All right. So the world is, is crazy looking for yield and real estate offers you yield. Came on. And Starred Property Trust did a four hundred million dollars announced a four hundred million dollars stock buyback for Jim Kramer. So we are <laughs> we are uh, we are buying our Barry, stock back. Thank you.